investigate the gracious hand. Hand. <coughs> but appearances can be deceiving. Do what you can to discern the truth of the matter. This is a bitch. Perhaps you've a moment to spare, an ear to lend. Fuck. Good day, sir. Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more hands to aid us. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now! 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 Interesting. Who is this? Oh, someone help me! Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abessa's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. Got any good stories to sh- Hoy, Arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you? What the fuck? Yet, fair enough. Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot.
materials implements curative there we go Hoy arisen! Have you brought oh, any fuck. medicine with you? Huh? Thanks so much, but with so many sick. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. A nun say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. I knew it to be so. How might we enter the basement sick room? Not a bad idea. The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. No way. Back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? What? You found a medicine used only in the basement <clears throat> sick room? I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this you as well? Go. Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Radcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. That's just what I was thinking. Look forward to 
and turning in earlier. daunting to battle Cyclopes there as here, and taking aim at their eyes no less thrilling. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. Ready to forge on? with you. Now that's just splendid. The fucking face. <laughs> oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. <clears throat> it's a goodly deed we've done, aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. <coughs> that's just what I was thinking. Don't bother talking to me if you've naught to offer. This might contain useful information. Let's have a look then. <coughs> have you business with the guild, sir?
I should be glad to assist you. Always a pleasure. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treat. to the foremost host much obliged. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Hello. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Carts make for relatively safer travel. I wouldn't mind a chance to doze off as the hills roll by. The creature's corpse will serve us well. You cut quite the hunter's figure. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Say, you wouldn't happen to have seen a pretty stone lying about, would you? One befitting the name the Jadeite Orb. It was stolen from me while I was delivering it, and if Master Everard should find out, he'd wring my neck. There's no exaggeration. He's had people killed a four, more than a few at that. To be quite truthful, I'd intended to sell off the Jadeite Orb and quit this place for good. Working under a man such as him, I'd only get chewed up till he decided to spit me out. That jewel was my last hope. Now it's gone. Unless... unless you were to find it for me, would you, sir? <clears throat> oh, pray do a poor man a kindness. The Jadi Orb could be anywhere now. Have you come from Vernworth? How are things there? The ancient battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts. 
and so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. In times past, twas safe enough a night when the monsters sleep, but no longer. Since a few days past, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. Tis nigh impassable now. It could be that aught's befallen the cenotaph. I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure aught's are right with it? You'll never believe this, but the other day, I saw an elven woman and a dwarven man. I see life as a journey, to be walked a day at a time. Boy. Greetings, sir. We see a great many customers, given our location, so you'll have to forgive us if the A... Welcome, sir. Contrary to the name, this little shop of mine deals in naught but the finest treasures. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for you. Huh? Self. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Hope to see you again. Okay. The Jedi orb is safely in hand. Oh, I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. He's gone missing. Pray tell, have you seen the lad? Morris, I've just found out Rog has been abducted by beasts. W w what? No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? Yes. The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Concern it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? Did it do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. If yes. you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Shall we seek some answers? Greetings. You are the Arisen, are you not? Tell is you travel quite a bit. Tell me, in your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offal? He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite Orb. My fellow merchants are scouring the city for him as we speak, but have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. Tis an item of precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed, post haste. Who is this guy? And in my hour of need, who should wander by but the good arisen? What say you, sir? Would you be so kind as to seek out the Jadeite Orb on my behalf? You will be rewarded handsomely for your service. Of that, I can assure you. Stop flexing. So, how goes it? Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Very well. Pray can...
Nobody ate one. It's this way. The flowers that bloom around from what I can glean, the petals absorb isn't that unusual. Me alone, will ye? It isn't my way to. Hi, I met Roger by the cenotaph on the eastern side of town. He had what looked like a bundle of grass with him, only he was carrying it as though it were of the greatest import. When I asked what he was doing with it, he would say no more than twas a secret. So I told him to get home safe, and we parted ways. Yet no sooner had I turned my back than I heard him scream. I charged to his aid, but a wolf was already scarpering with him in its jaws. Poor lad. His cries haunt me even now. Pray help him if you can, sir. He deserves a better fate than this. What brings you here? Could it be yours before? If I cannot dissuade you from pressing onward, perhaps you... There are quite a few beastrons are in Batal. Strange, that. Considering... Mayhap you've seen them. Couldn't tell you whether any of that... 